I was blessed by TikTok's algorithm. Hey guys, it's Brooke, and for my video today, I'm going to be trying out a new foundation brush. It is called the Flawless Foundation Brush, and it just recently went viral on TikTok, and I have it here to try out today. So if you wanna hear my first impressions, my overall thoughts of the product, make sure you keep on watching. But before we get into it, I just wanna say if you're new here, hello, welcome to my channel, I'm Brooke. I post two videos a week mainly related to makeup, basically whatever I want to post, so if that's something that interests you, please hit that subscribe button down below, and if that doesn't interest you, get that negative energy out of here, because we're positive vibes only. Now, let's get right on in to my thoughts. Okay, so this is the brush right here. I still have it in the packaging, so let me get it out really quick. So it comes in this cute little protective casing, and I got the light pink shade because the shipping was faster, honestly but it's just this small little brush and it's flat and it's super, super soft. So if you don't know about this product, I'll give you a little background as I get my foundation ready. I saw this product go viral on TikTok, I wanna say last week sometime because I got the brush on Friday and you're gonna be watching this on Tuesday, so timeline for you. I saw this brush sometime last week and the TikTok had maybe 50,000 views and the girl who was reviewing the product always posts a lot of makeup videos so I just knew that this product was gonna blow up so I immediately went to Amazon and bought it and it's now already sold out. So I was smart because I knew that it was gonna go viral. I'm glad I got my hands on it when I did. So I have my foundation on the back of my hand and I actually mix two shades together. So I'm just gonna use my finger to mix them on the back of my hand. Usually I would do this with a beauty sponge. And then I'm going to apply it to my face the same way the girl in the video did by just kind of blotting it all over. I also put it on my neck so it's going down there. So I do already have my skin um, primed and set how I usually would for any other foundation applicator. I usually use a beauty blender, but I'm just gonna go ahead and do exactly what she did in the video. So far, I am pretty impressed. I don't think I used enough foundation, which is crazy because I used my normal amount that I would use with a beauty sponge and I don't think it was enough and beauty sponges usually absorb a lot of the product so this definitely does as well. I think it's important to note that. But I'm really surprised that there's no streaks at all when I'm applying the, the product because usually when I do my foundation with a brush, I get so many streaks and that's why I always choose to use a beauty blender. But so far, I don't see any type of streaks at all. I do just want to point out that my foundation clearly is a little too pale for me. I went to the beach this weekend and got pretty tanned, so sorry if I look pasty in the face, but not in the skin. So this is the coverage that I got from the brush with just my normal amount of foundation. I am going to go back in with the tanner of the two foundations that I usually use since I think I look a little pale. And I also think that it's kind of splotchy around this area and it's not totally full coverage. So I'm going to pick it up in kind of a different way. I'm using the brush to spread it out this time. And I'm focusing it in those areas that I didn't have the fullest coverage. And I do have to go back on what I said about the no streaks. I'm noticing now there is some streaks when I apply the product. So far, I do think that I like the product. What do you guys think? I'm gonna get close so you can see any, you can see right here, there's a little bit of streaks. And you can see like in this area there's streaks, but that's also where my skin is the most delicate, so it could be because of that as well. But I'm not sure that it gave me as full coverage as the girl on TikTok was claiming, but I'm also not using the same foundation as her, so it could be something as simple as that too. I'm going to try and go back in one more time with just a little bit more foundation. Again, in the areas that I don't think are super covered, which is like right in this area and kind of on my forehead. It's 
also the areas that I keep tending to get streaks to, which is a little bit annoying. I also tend to struggle with foundation staying on my nose in the first place since I'm pretty oily, but it's doing a pretty good job. I'm definitely liking the product. And I would just like to say that I'm very proud of myself for getting on this trend as quick as I did. I saw this TikTok before it even really went viral. I was blessed by TikTok's algorithm and I went and bought this product immediately because I knew that that TikTok was going to blow up. And I'm so glad that I did because it is sold out on Amazon now. And I'm so glad that I was able to get it to review for you guys. So I have to say that I think it did a pretty amazing job. I'm gonna come in closer again. And you can see in my nose area that it definitely is struggling. And the more product I try to apply to it, I think the worse that it's getting, it's very streaky. I'm just going to try and press it a little bit to get rid of some of the streaks. But I think that it's looking pretty good. Whoops. Okay, my bad, my lights came unplugged, sorry. So right off the bat, I wanna say I like the product and I'm definitely going to use it again. I don't know if it's gonna replace a beauty blender for me. I need to try it a few more times before I decide that, but I do think it applied my foundation really, really nicely. But I do wanna try it a few more times before I tell you guys for sure that it's worth it. But as of right now, I'm thinking it's worth it. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of my makeup off camera and then I will be back to share with you my overall final thoughts of the product. Okay, so I have my makeup totally finished now, and overall, I'm loving how my foundation looks. I think that after I applied all of my other products, the foundation is still sitting very nicely on the skin. I like how it looks, and I have to say that I even think my pores are a little bit less prominent than I think they usually are with a beauty blender. This is just a first impressions of the product, so I can't say for sure that I'm in love with it yet, but I'm definitely very excited to try it again, and I think my makeup looks better than it does with a beauty blender. I didn't get any of the streakiness that I thought I did, and it's very airbrushed, and I'm enjoying the look. If you guys enjoyed this review, and if you're still watching to the very end, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.